on, you get louder than that. All right. The reason why we're here today is because the priorities, not only of the state, but also of the university, are obviously backwards. Okay, I am an OWL fan. I've been here for four and a half years, and I'm ready to graduate in the summer. Ready to graduate in the summer. Now let me tell you, there's a problem when education at a university is not the number one priority. Last fall, more than $64 million in budget cuts were made at Florida State University systems. Almost $4 million of which was cut from FAU's budget. Another $42 million is proposed to be cut by June of this year. That's a total of over $106 million, people. Um, What's going to happen next year? Well, there's already a statewide freeze on freshman enrollment at current levels. According to Governor Christ, when the state legislator convenes in March, it will have to consider a budget that is about a billion dollars less than the current year spending. All state agencies will feel this crunch, including education. And then all of a sudden the budget freeze came in and all OPS um, hiring was frozen. So. I can't get a job to pay for anything extra. I live only off of student loans and scholarships and grants. So if you tell me that I can't go to school during the summer, I'm going to not really be able to pay my rent. And the one eye you have on today does need to face a budget crisis, which is very, very real. I don't want anyone to think it's not. It's serious. But the other eye has to be on tomorrow. We have to be a state driven by your entrepreneurial values. That's how we're going to grow in the state of Florida. So you're gonna, if you're going to be the ones that ultimately get us out of this crisis long term, that eye has to be on you and your future, which means we should be investing 